Hi, this is Pat Moorhead, and the 6.5 is live at the AWS Next Level in the Grand Fear in Barcelona, Spain. It is great to be here at Mobile World Congress 2023, and I got to tell you, the excitement is huge here. The crowds are bigger, and it just feels like it's a real uppity type of event. Yeah, it's palpable yes. how much better it is this I know. year. Uh, and we're in the inspiration zone. Yes, we are. Are you feeling inspired, Pat? I am, very much yeah, so. I do appreciate having the opportunity. It's kind of like a lot of noise. You come in here, it's it's quiet. But the the energy of MWC gets me so excited. By the end of the day, though, when you're done with dinner around yes. 2 a.m., <laughs> you are, you know, you hit your head hits the pillow and you're ready to get up at 5. It's, uh, I always say it's uh, U.S. hours for the work and then it's uh, European hours for the dinners. But, yeah, it's great to be here, definitely. Yeah. And uh, we've been talking a lot about uh, network transformation, uh, the value that it's bringing to carrier and also enterprises and new services to end users, kind of the state of 5G of uh, uh, where we are. So that is rife for us, us analysts. But without further ado, let's introduce the guests. Fabio and Mark, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, really, Thank you. really appreciate you coming on the show. And, and one thing I love about having end customers on the show is kind of the grand purifier between, you know, having vendors, industry analysts, right? Uh, it's easy for pundits to say what they do. Uh, it, being a vendor is hard. I used to be one. Uh, but actually, at the end of the road, it, it's what you do. So we really appreciate you coming. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's exciting. And, and, you know, it's one of the themes, too, of conversations we've had here has been about you know the public cloud's involvement in the future of telco the virtualization, the RAN, and what's going to happen. And so, having Swisscom here is going to be a great opportunity to kind of dig into this. So, Mark, I'm going to start with you. I'd love for you to share a little bit with us about the work that's being done with Swisscom and NAWS. Actually, I think it's two years ago uh, when we um, publicly launched our cooperation, our partnership. Um, and since then, we did quite a lot. Um, Mainly, we've been working uh, very closely with AWS in, in getting their region open in Zurich, which is live now. And meanwhile, um, we use the partnership in order to train our people. Because it's all about change, it's all about skills. So that was the first step. And now, um, what we're doing is we're transforming our IT. So everything from ERP systems to BSS, OSS, other IT applications, tools we have, will over the time get into the public cloud. But not as a lift and shift, but really as, as a transformational journey. And this is something we're doing together with our partners in terms of upskilling our teams and evolving the cloud jointly, uh, what's necessary. And then the next step will be to even move telco workload 5G core and others into the public cloud. Yeah, so the big question is, I mean, I think enterprises, you know, it's very clear why they're, why many of them have moved to the cloud, but uh, when some people think of, oh, a carrier and services, carrier grade, you know, ooh, the cloud. So why the cloud? And why not some other uh, implementation? I think we at Swisscom, we, we have uh, our customers at heart, right? So, and cu having customers at heart means we're driving for highest performance. We have one of the best mobile networks in the world, um, winning a lot of benchmarks. And this is why we thought, what's the next level? And the next level really is, is about innovation, speed of innovation, right? Um, the innovation speed within mobile hasn't been that fast compared to normal IT. And one of the reasons is because um, the scale that the public cloud can provide hasn't been there. Uh, another aspect is reliability and resilience. How can we enhance that? And having only an on-prem solution or having a hybrid solution does make quite a big difference in there. And the last one is innovation. I mean, having a partner like AWS with, with the ecosystem surrounding it um, can and will make a change. Yeah, Fabio, it'd be great to kind of hear your take too. So it sounds like two years ago, you guys came together and figured out a tie-up that the public cloud could really enable the next generation of, 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 of the offering from Swisscom. But when did AWS know it was ready to really start working with these operating, operators and delivering this next level of what they need to move yeah. to the cloud? So, you know, we took, uh, we took the decision uh, back five years ago 
to be really industry focused when it comes to telco. Because we got uh, a clear understanding that telco would have had a strong need for leveraging the innovation of cloud to go to the next level. And it's exactly what we did with Swisscom. You know, uh, the cloud uh, has demonstrated to be the center of gravity to attract uh, the developers. And who generate uh, innovation if not developers? And so if you want to be part of innovation, it's a kind of uh, a must to be in the cloud and leverage this ecosystem of the cloud. The great thing with, uh, that happened with Swisscom is that uh, they leaned in completely in this value proposition, all across the IT and network, because they understood more than others and uh, even uh, faster than others, I would say, that doing innovation at a lower cost to get revenues beyond connectivity while transforming the operating engine, leveraging automation, makes a huge difference to be a leader in the market or a laggard in the market. So in the virtual green room that we had, I think I heard of an expression that was going from telco to tech co. And first of all, if, I'm, if the marketing team created that, bravo, I think it's brilliant. But can you double click on that a little? What, what exactly does that, I think I know what that means after, after working with carriers for 30 years, but can you explain it in your words? Yeah, you know, the shift from being a, a pure telecommunication company that sell what? Connectivity. To a technology company that sell what? Something that we are figuring out together, but it's all about going beyond connectivity. Kind of apps, experiences. Apps, out, experiences. Uh, and outcomes for enterprise customers. That's it. And it's all about making your asset, the network, consumable to whom? Not only from the usual end users and B2B that we have been used to serve, but to a new category that again is the developers. Mark and Swisscom understood perfectly, perfectly that making their network consumable by the community of developers would make a gigantic difference in creating innovation, building use cases, serving new categories. And it's exactly what uh, they are achieving. Yeah? And um, it's all about making your network, your assets, an API away from the community of developers. Can we say that? And so making this shift, suddenly you become a gateway from the end users and the huge community of uh, making innovation happen, that is the developers again. And so this is all about shifting from a pure telecommunication company selling connectivity to an enabler of innovation, providing the network as a service to that community. We can make many examples of that, but I don't think we have time. Well, we could hang out longer, but I mean, <laughs> yes, you'll like, you, you you like. miss the late dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh no, the, it'll still be going. Uh, <laughs> we are, no, we are mean, in Barcelona. Doesn't it, dinner start at eight? In eight around or nine. Here, so. But yeah, so it's interesting though to listen to this because I do remember when we first started kind of hearing about uh, public cloud companies and telcos working together, and I know some eyebrows were raised, and everyone's kind of like, you know as we move from all the fixed functions to virtualized functions and then, you know, dynamic software defined networks and carrier grade, carrier man. grade. Hey, we've and got to do it a certain way. It won't right? work. And so what I'm hearing here is you found a bit of a new way to work together and now it's been successful. I mean, Fabio is, is this becoming the normal? Cause it's yeah. very different than what it looked like even two years ago. When yeah. You I'm even started. shocked the two years. I mean, that's, it's hard for anybody to get anything monumentally done in two years. So, um, I want to hear more. You know, Swisscom for sure is a front runner, but I see more and more this happening all across. Essentially, we do three things with telcos. We help them out to shift their operating engine to become fully automatic. Pervasive automation to make prevention, prediction, uh, personalization, the real new way you're working. And in doing so, we are caring about the way you guys manage data. And again, Swisscom is a front runner, but it's, this is happening. How the way you use your data to better understand your customers and to modify the way you interact with them and to become a real data-driven company. Point number two is to shift your business model. Again, understanding that you become the center of gravity of an ecosystem where you need to pull developers together with enterprises, together with end users, together with the 
cloud infrastructure. And again, AWS can unlock a huge community of developers. Point number three is the jungle market, meaning we go together to the consumer and to the B2B, bringing them new use cases that uh, will, for instance, make 5G impactful for those industries, but much more than that. Again, Swisscom has been leaning in on all these three dimensions, and it's just refreshing to see such thought leadership. But we see this pattern now going across all the, all the industry. Yeah. So Mark, is there any words of wisdom you can share, not with your competitors, of course, uh, but let's say carriers around the world who are considering how to make that next big jump to cloud, any words of wisdom that you could give them? I guess there, there are a few. It depends on what you look at, right? If we start with the IT part that I mentioned in the beginning, um, we have a fundamental principle when we approach our customers, and, and that is uh, we, are, we eat our own dog food, or the more nicer term is we drink our own champagne. <laughs> um, so like we, 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 go, we go to the public cloud, and once we uh, consult our customers doing so, we know what it means, right? So that's, that's one part. Um, the other part is, yes, um, th th there has been, you, you mentioned that, right? Telco grade um, style. Yeah. I, I often refer to that, this is kind of the myth, right? We have this telco myth of five nines. Five nines means we would have an outage of less than five minutes per year. I think no one ever achieved that. Um, and moving from telco, that 5.9 thing, to techo means everything that can fail will fail. But once it fails, we have a failover mechanism in place. And that is shifting gears, right? So um, getting, getting into a cloud-native public cloud world with telco workload fundamentally changes the way we operate. Imagine Nowadays, we, uh, in the classical way, we get maybe a major release for, for our core once per year. In an IT world, public cloud world, you get that on a weekly, daily basis. How do I do that, right? Completely different. And, but this will enhance quality and speed of innovation. So Mark, uh, thanks for sharing those words of wisdom. And, and Fabio, hats off to AWS for uh, you've made some, some significant investments to be able to do what you've done. Uh, Dan and our analyst firms, we recognize that. Uh, we write about it. Uh, taking it, you know, the core is important, but also getting to the edge and doing some special things at the edge that, quite frankly, AWS wasn't doing uh, five, uh, five, six years ago. So, you know, you've extended forward and, and met uh, uh, carriers in the middle uh, like like Swisscom. So thanks for coming on the show. Appreciate Thank that. You. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Yeah, we really appreciate Mark you sharing and, and Fabio. Congratulations on all the success and thanks for uh, joining us here at MWC. Thank you. Thank you guys. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode of the Six Five and the Inspiration Zone at AWS here in Barcelona. We really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. Join us for all the episodes here at the event. But for Patrick and for myself, it's time to say goodbye. We'll see you all later.